coming to its Pushkara uh, Mula's Guna and Karma, uh, it almost has all the qualities of a standard spy. Definitely, it is uh, Katu in nature. It has a Lagu Guna, Tikshna Guna, that because of that piercing nature is there. That's the reason it uh, breaks open the Kapha and its Virya is Ushna, Vipaka is Katu. Typically, like any other which is uh, respiratory, anti minimum drugs which are used in the respiratory system, typically has these qualities. Because of these things, it clearly acts again as Vata as well as Kapha. It has a special effect even unto the cardiac origin. That's the reason when it is given to a patient with uh, hypertension or something like that, that needs to be watched under prescriptive and under, I mean, under the guidance and observation of the physician that he needs to be take these things in a longer, I mean, uh, larger doses or a longer duration. It has a special effect on uh, particularly the blood pressure. Moving on. So these are the various uh, uh, shlokas. First one, Charak Samhita Sutta Sana 25th chapter, Agra Sangraniya, as Guru Dasar has already elaborated. Next is Bhav Prakasha, again, Kasa, Aruji, Shwasa, Parsha, Shula is explained. Then Dhanvantari Niganto also explains similar thing. Katu, Ushna, Kapavata, Jet. Shofa is also especially mentioned there. Shofa and Admana in particular. Shwasa, Hikka, and also very similar uh, explanation even in the Raja Niganto also. Some antihistaminic activities there. It can be used in upper respiratory tract infection and allergic rhinitis conditions also. Sir. It can be used, but its activity is being more observed in particularly in the respiratory system, that too in the lower respiratory system. When there is a difficulty in breathing because of the bronchitis condition or allergic bronchitis, such condition acts very well.